you're probably going to go back and inform your uh, higher up there who was probably busy upgrading his stuff the last six months and hasn't been seen by the rest of the guys. Inform my higher up what? Kane, uh, Ty Tyron's character. Ah. You mean uh, Norsk? Yeah, Norsk's character. Yeah. I'm trying to say his character's name, damn it. Which part? The first part or the last part? All of it. I, Karn, right? Karn? Still Karn, yeah. Yeah, I'm just bad with names in general. I mean, you can say K Karen, Karn, he doesn't really care. Okay. Yeah, no, he was wandering around in the middle of the... <laughs> what? So middle of the guys, watchtower. Was he wandering around upgrading... Checking the status of his kill team. The list Basically, yeah, the, the list. Oh yeah, Norsk, uh, you're coming through on a different mic than your headset. Yeah, I was using the, the big, the big, big mic. Got it. Is it too sensitive? Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Okay, so I played around with the sensitivity, I was hoping it wouldn't be like... Super anally sensitive, like last time. So yeah, this next mission coming up is going to be a, basically a time mission, like uh, I told you, among the last other team. Uh, they estimated the uh, the Black Crusade fleet will be atop of you guys within eight hours. So you want to be in and out as fast as possible. Okay. I mean, you haven't been told about this mission yet at all, so that's up nope. to the Elmig test tracks characters to tell you because your guy is busy in the armory upgrading looking at like the, the death list doing it, any various rituals he would be doing during the last six months what I'm hearing is is we have 4,800 turrets 4,800 turrets turns so, yes. Yeah. yes and we have to do each one of them oh god 8 hours divided by 6 seconds is 4,800 Um, like I, have, I have no, you know, command over uh, the keeper. Uh, so, like, he's the there for reasons. He, yeah, they're telling him anything. It's because he's the only one who can command him to do anything. Would be the chapter master, right? But you'd have no reason to inform him either, like, uh, of the mission, because you just essentially met this guy the other day. He's and just you know, showing up saying, I'm coming with you. I was told you might need help. Oh, okay. Yeah. He then proceeds. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you, your character would be aware of that um, Karnas Car character is training those other individuals for for upcoming missions. Uh, you know of the, the mission selection they have at their disposal. The no, one you guys saw. But he doesn't know like, the If he was like assigned to our kill team... No, he wasn't. Um, he's yes, he's yes. he's he's in charge of what's left of his kill team. Of his own kill team, yeah. So he's going with those guys. So if that makes sense, he's going with them, but not us. Which they're going with you. Oh, so they are coming with us. Yes. You're taking what's left of my kill team. I'm following what's left of my kill team because it was my kill team. Gotcha. And we're going to go and rescue what's left of my kill team. Yes, so this right here will probably tell you the status of my kill team. A lot of them are dead. We didn't give you guys names, did we? There's one through one through six, weren't they? Probably give them some names. Well, there's more of yours alive than of my kill team. Yep. It's like, like three guys left on mine, maybe. Percentage wise. That's true. I'm yeah, straight up missing good. one. Yeah. I I have three out of ten alive and one missing. He's somewhere on that barge. Or that space hulk. I was informed that there was someone named Ragnar Steelclad, but I have no clue who the hell oh, it is. says you have four alive and one missing. I'm not including Ragnar. I I was just randomly told about him. 
Otherwise, it was going to be a dead guy. Yeah, well, I have three of mine left. Maybe. On a chaos-held world, controlled by corn. Right, well, since your squad's being assigned to assist ours, I may as well tell you what we're up against. It's a demon-held world infested by the followers of Korn. We know they have multiple titans. I believe at least three. We've already requisitioned an Imperial house to assist with this mission, and they're sending along two of theirs. If I remember correctly. Yes. It was an actual... You guys had an actual... Requisition. I think we put. I mean, we made a journal. Let's see what the journal says. I think we definitely made a journal about that. Let me look it up. Let's see. And if we didn't, we'll have to make one. But if those three titans weren't enough, again that we know of, there's a uh, a large detachment of armored vehicles there, and then of course, a seething horde of chaotic. Anger monkeys. Anger monkeys. Um, Is that the official terminology? It's my personal terminology for them. Anger monkeys. Very Anger well. monkeys. Okay, there you go. There should be a handout. Yelmug's forces. So I think it was two titans from one, and then you guys got another one from another watchtower. So you have a total of three. You at least matched the enemies in Warhound. Oh, I didn't realize we got another one. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Karnoth secured one. This handout is completely blank. It is. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just ma I just made it now. So oh, we can, okay. We can write it down. My my cor my apologies for not informing you. So we can write it down what you guys have available to you. You have your your two Death Watch. Teams already on the scene. The scout ones are scouting out and holding position now because they don't have enough firepower to deal with it. So they called you guys. Uh, you have the three Imperial Warhounds. And would you like to requisition anything else before you head out on this? You have the, the your uh, stealth cruiser on the field. Oh, yeah, yeah. the Inquisitorial stealth cruiser. That's right. <laughs> Uh, requisition the Imperial Navy to conduct exter localized exterminatus on the Warhounds location. Oh, uh, they they don't want nothing to do with that planet. So Very there's, low. A, there's, a, there's a black there's a black crusade going on there. They don't have the forces to deal with it right now. That's why it's a time mission for you guys. You have eight hours until that big fleet comes overhead. And in it was a stealth cruiser with a big f off gun too, if I yep. remember correctly. And the stealth cruiser that's already in the in the AO already that dropped off the other team. Oh, What's okay. So that one doesn't have a big F off gun, but ours does. No, that well, one's Moss characters does. Yeah. What's the uh, planet topography, or like what? What's the AO's topography? It, it was a lush world. Now it is a barren wasteland, uh, with cracked in half planet type thing. Uh, geogra or not geographical. Um, desert. desert yeah, deserty, barren. So a blasted so, wasteland. So Istvan. Yeah. Is, is, uh, it, is it like Istvan? I don't know that, that place, but possibly. Uh, the drop site massacre? Uh-uh. I don't know that. I'll have to oh, look at well. that. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, is it, okay. is it like that type of... <laughs> is it kind of like that air, like terrain? Uh, I don't think it was mountainous or anything. I think there were mountains. Just... There were mountains, crags, uh, canyons, ravines. Like it yeah. was a desert world. Nothing like that. Like a wa it's a wasteland now. Just like oh, it's just flat and desert. Just yeah. flat desert because it got vaporized by something. Um, there well, is a vaporizing all the vegetation off a planet doesn't change the topography. Yeah, I was getting there. Like, are there? Is it like? Mountainous and dunes, cracks and ravines, or is it like flat or... hills? Or you're asking yeah. for in, you're asking him for intel. What the the his kill team knows of the topography around the the facility. Well, I, mean, I would also like to know. Okay, <laughs> we're well, asking for the brief from the scouts. I guess. Yeah. Okay. So they tell, tell me you what the ground looks like. So they tell you there is a plateau near the facility. That's where they're they're located at. 
They're able to oversee the facility down in this valley. Uh, the facility is a looks like a corn like hastily built fortification, and they're building something else on there as well. So it's not any imperial known facility. Um, What's the distance between the plateau and the corn facility? They they tell you at least uh, probably like five clicks out from their location. They are keeping their distance because of the warhounds. So. So, if I heard you right, uh, chaos facility on a plateau inside of a valley. There are, no, no, your kill team's on a plateau. They're okay. in a valley. They're above, Our they're kill above. team is on a plateau. Yeah. Okay. They're overviewing, like overwatching this, this uh, facility. That makes sense. They have the high ground. <laughs> it's due north of their location. They see various supply ships coming to and fro. Um, they were able to infiltrate the facility. One of the uh, their their scout was able to infiltrate the facility and locate exactly where your uh, librarians are being held. But they couldn't get any closer than because they saw them being marched into this bunker, and that's the last they saw of them. So. And they're bar they're bound with barbed wire around their head. They basically look like Jesus, right? With the barbed wire, all that, all around them. They're being tortured for sure, but very much alive and stripped of their armor too. Cool. So we got two death watch kill teams going down there. We have your kill team. This kill team. We have an incredible stealth ship above, three warhounds, and whatever Moth's cruiser is. I don't know. Uh, he called it, it was something he chose, and I can't remember what, it was like two weeks ago. It might be in the chats, actually. I can tell you exactly what. What's the weather conditions like in the area? Hot. They just. <laughs> it's not weather. There is no weather. Hot and clear. Hot and clear. Thank you. Because the planet just got hit by something. So hot and clear. It's like the Arizona desert. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Uh, time of day. It's high noon where they're at, I guess they would just say. They, I mean, there's no, I mean, the planet's different than most planets. So it's not like Earth. So the sun is in high up above them. And uh, your guys' ship, uh, let me so see how long, let me say, let me see how long it'll take you in hours to get there. Because it's not too far from your location, warp speaking wise. Kind of what I just read there. 1D. I'm going to say 1D. No, it's 2. I know. 1D. So it's. So it's 13 hours out uh, with uh, going through warp to get there. If they were to estimate it, your the navigators say. About thirteen hours to get there, so it'll be about it'll be dark by the time you get there. So you have the cover of darkness going in. Yeah, that, that's that's what I where I was getting at. I was like, are we about to do a fucking? You're you're asking time assault. No, I mean you're asking the the I guess the guys in the field what time it is there. It's like the sun's high up in the sky. So by the time you get there, thirteen hours from now, it should be relatively dark because they say the days are. Close to Terra, but not not quite. <laughs> it's about a twenty eight hour uh, cycle. And you have about uh, there's twelve Death Watch guys on the ground. They're yell mug. Of your of your own guys.
Kim. Is my little brief there look uh, look correct? Yeah, you can add it to the um, mission four briefing. I sh let me see if you should be able to alter that. Can be edited by all players. There you go. You can add your briefing to to that. Yeah, I'll copy it into the Yomong Forces thing. Yeah, well, do that. I, add, I don't add, even know where you're looking at or what you're talking about. If you go to um, where you look at characters, your own characters, the journal, and you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of handouts that I have created for y'all. That's not the right one. Yeah, uh, Yomong Forces is at the bottom. Oh, that's weird. Oh, did it copy it? You used GPT and it made it black? Yeah, and then it did weird stuff. Don't worry, I can I can fix that. There, it's fixed. You highlight it, and then you you on the top right there'll be background transparent. Gotcha. Let's just do that. Ah, you made it worse. I'll fix it. No, there you go. Okay, cool. You fixed it. Well, okay, now it's all fucked up again. I was kidding about the meatball thing, you bastard. <laughs> Uh, nope, that sounded like it was uh, more accurate. Okay. <clears throat> I'll remove the meatballs in a second. No, no, I mean, you can keep it there, because probably they would joke with you about that. Cloud of a chance of meatball. <laughs> it's hot, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Also, you guys get to also have fun with insertion rolls, too. Whoa, insertion. Resist the urge. Resist the urge to play bagpipes across all channels. So, hold up. Let me see. I could play. Most character would have to resist the urge to play holy hymns across all channels as well. Ooh, very well. Okay, so both kill teams are on the field now. I put the blah, blah blah, and I'm going to make some rolls for you guys. So, and these are going to be, since everyone's not here, these will be uh, pretext that if you guys are going to be on your drop spot when they drop you in. So I'm going to do about six rolls. So we'll see. About to say, uh, yeah, scout supporting anything bad. in the realm of. AA armor patrolling are the Titans active or are they just in no, the local facility? Active actively patrolling around the perimeter, uh and just killing anything they see in sight. So they've been shooting they've been shooting and killing like civilian vehicles, uh various wildlife, just crazy shit. Uh, they're, they're collecting <clears throat> skulls, right? So. Right, so there's still civilians, like, on the planet? Somehow, yeah. They're just, they're saying they've they've seen them haul civilians from somewhere, bring them to this facility, and just kill them on the spot. And they've killed them with spears, bolters, flamers, axes, warhounds stepping on people. It's just crazy shit. They have mounds of skulls in uh, one part of the facility, and they say it's pretty big. Pretty big. They say there's probably at least a million plus or more skulls on that pile. Uh, where are the civilians located? Where are they? Is there a... Oh, they're probably... Hot cities? Um... Oh, that's huh? nice. I was asking, like, in the sense of, is there a prior HAB center nearby, or where this, do these civilians? 
from. Well, they they tell you this city used to be a very lush green world at one time. It used to be an imperial hive world. Uh, very well. Yeah, it's not a fully developed one. It was like a centralized one, the, and various villages and other things around the world. Uh, it's since been uh, destroyed. Where was that hive in correlation to the Scouts Plateau? No, oh, nowhere nearby. They're just like, telling you the planet they know of before the Black Crusade came in. They said it's probably on the other side of the planet. They don't know. So. Very well. If I were to cross-reference an initial map, where would the, where would the hive world be? Or the hive, uh, the hive itself be? You would have to requisition those records from somebody else. They tell you they, they, they don't have that intel. Our intel no. was to come here and search for this team. So we came to their last, last known coordinates. Uh, the watch commander of Yelmug's for, or uh, the Yelmug, you could probably ask for it if you wanted a detailed map of that world. I just need a detailed map of the area we're going to be hitting. Yeah. That's what I was getting. I was getting like direct cardinal directions from the area. Yeah, they tell you it's like it's a nothing burger. It's on the other side of the planet. So, oh, I've made a little brief that might be useful. Yeah, but they're bringing in people, lots of them from other places, and basically killing these people. I love meeting new people and then yeah. killing them. That's what these guys. Yes, yeah, I mean that's what. Horn's known for blood for the blood god, right? So they just have skulls mounting. So your insertion was a little rough, but looks like from your rolls, you guys didn't do anything crazy, so you'd be landing right on point. So on the plateau, five kilometers to the north of the facility in a valley. You'll you'll vaguely land nearby. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll to distance, and I'm not gonna do one to f- one to fifty on that one mission that we did with Moth last time. So roll one one d. You're gonna land within five kilometers of your your designated spot. Let's say we drop bodying. Yep. So you're two kilometers away from where the Death Watch squad is. So they could probably link up with you if you guys wanted to hang tight for them. Is this a... I guess this is going to be towards... Uh, I'll find his name. Hey, I see someone named Eurycles. Yeah. I, this is their Eurycles. Are those scouts equipped with snipers, or are they equipped with just standard gear? Um, this is just going to be like a standard kill team. They're not actually... Yeah, like they're not scout marines. Yeah, they're just okay. standard. It's they not have a three man; it's a five man. Yeah, six man. Yeah, yeah, two two six man teams. Each scout team is two six mans. No, no, no. These are just they're just two kill teams. Two kill teams. Yeah, they're just acting as a scout yeah. force. That's what they had available. So, uh, they have a stealthy guy. He he already went in the facility and scouted out where these guys are at. So, and he came back, so. What's the name of that kill team? I don't have any names, but I can make names for them. That's the York ladies, I'm presuming he named them. Or do you want to name them? He did not name them, but. Whoever wants to name the kill team. Name their useful. Brown Bear. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's fine. And what's the other team? (laughs) Alpha Indigo. There you go. Because, Because they're edgelords. And that killed him. Brown Baron and Alpha. Yeah, okay, sweet. I love it. Put that on your uh, Yomug's forces. And we're rescuing the remnants of Kill Team Death Star. Yep. Because they were like a freaking Death Star, weren't they? Yep. <sighs> they were so wonderful. I love them. All right, I'm I lo- putting this in your weird thing that you made. The handout from forces. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so everyone that has Titan class stuff, Yelmog, they tell you don't, they don't want to commit any more than they already have, because that's a that's a losing fight. Oh yeah. So no, they they yeah they see those warhounds as lost. So. It's also only warhounds. It's not a. I mean, it'd be great to destroy some warhounds, but.
yeah, engaging civilians, engaging uh, various other things. So just bringing like random bits of vehicles, caravans, animals. Do we have an estimate of any other forms of armor, sentinels, chimeras, land raiders? There's vehicles out there. Yeah, they have all those out there. Okay, so it's okay. And so mixed armor, mixed armor uh, units out there for sure. So they definitely see uh, rhino whirlwinds out there. Uh, chaos. So they do have AA. That was where I was getting at. So oh, yeah. chaos, chaos cultists, chaos guardsmen, the whole nine yards. Uh, yep. Number size ballpark. Ballpark. Uh, probably the the tens of thousands with the with the guardsmen. Uh, the chaos forces. Uh, they estimate anywhere between thirty to two hundred plus chaos marines. Two to three hundred, you said. Uh, twenty to to three hundred. They don't. They don't know. They haven't. They've been very actively busy killing things. So they know for sure. They've seen at least twenty, and one one little gaggle of people. But estimates are probably way higher. They said there there's a large contingency here. So they advise not a direct assault. Otherwise, they would have done it already if it was just twenty of them. And if there wasn't warhounds, so. And let me see what that scout did as well. Let's see. Do, do, do. You oh. said he was able to find exactly where they were. Yep, he did. No, 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 no. I know that. I'm seeing what else he's gonna. He's gonna be doing other things. Oh, okay. okay. So. Okay, so he plants. Various charges around the around the, a the southern perimeter wall. He's able to do that before he headed before he uh, exfiltrated. And he's so you guys can use that as a diversion when going in. If you guys are looking for insertion speed, excellent. Do you guys want to bring up any artillery or any other vehicles? Or regular space marines, possibly? This is, this, um, I mean, mm. that's a hip thing. Because you guys are just, or... your mission is to get in and secure a target, and you're, you're, you're not really ones to do the active big fights. We're allowed to yeah. bring artillery? You can, you can, uh, I mean, regular. Uh... The only thing that we would really want to bring in is like just distraction forces to fight them off while we go in and rescue the librarians. What guard units are in the uh, sector? Yeah, it's in the watch commander. Uh, mm -hmm. He can pull up a division. Jesus, I don't think you would. If my mind went to the same number as you did. About 100,000? Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what planet are they from? Planet? You want to know what the exact planet? Okay. Oh, uh, no, I was asking if they were like fucking Cadian, Krieg, Valhallans, Vestoyans. Standard. Okay, it's standard guardsmen. Okay, so just, yeah. But they they could be mean, ready. To, I mean, they, they would all perish. Anything you send will, will more than likely perish in this fight. So, they can pull up a division. I'm going to go talk to Yilmug real quick then. I feel that anything that we throw down there, we're just going to want to use as a distractionary force while escaping. Got it. Unless we encounter too much getting in, then we'll just be using them as a distractionary force during the rescue itself. So here's the, so it takes a day to get a regiment off the ground. You can obviously land a lot faster than it takes to depart. Right. For record, I'm pulling that from like Gaunt's Ghost because I just finished rereading half of that. Yep, so it's but, taking a while to get out to y'all. Um, yeah. But you have 13 hours, so it'd be... Well, that was also... Um, that regiment was also, like, ready to leave, too. Exactly. Like, they were so, staged to leave when that happened. Exactly. So I don't think we can rely on any... Unless there's a guard force in transit nearby, you're not going to be able to rely on anything there. Best we could do is... You could probably have one of those stealth vessels launch a strike somewhere to the north of where we're landing. 
try and draw off those warhounds long enough for us to get in. So you want a couple thousand guardsmen to the north? I'm talking. I was talking through with Yul Nug, or not Yul Nug, York ladies. Yeah, I mean, if they get anything they can assault from the north, because we're approaching from the south. Um, How much are we willing to sacrifice for this? Is is the thing? Like, I've, yes, I mean, chaos. We're already sacrificing be... three three warhounds, which sure, yeah, warhounds, but they're still titans. Um, we're bring. Oh, we're bringing three warhounds as well. Yeah. Did the scouts see any anti-Titan uh, vehicles specifically? No. The other Titans. The other Aside Titans. from the Titans, there's no. Okay, so there's no like, uh, what is it? Main Lords. I forget the specific version. Okay, cool. A lot of lot of armor, a lot of spiky stuff, a lot of chaos bullshit is what they tell you. So standard armor. There's no anti Titan armor, is what, yeah, is what I was thinking. Yeah, I was like, yeah. no anti Titan armor. Well, are there demons? Yeah, but at least there are any demons. Yeah, at least That's 10 true. of them. That, that would, I don't mean, yeah, know if you're, you've There's read 10, what I said. Yeah, at least 10 demons uh, in the facility itself. The, the corn warriors, the wounds of the swords. They saw those oh, guys. Right. Blood letters. Yeah, or, blood letters. There you go, blood letters. Blood letters? Thanks What's the, the other blood? one? Blood thirsters, yeah. Okay, yeah, so maybe blood letters then. Yeah, blood letters. At least ten of them. And okay, they are... Not that bad. Yeah, they're all... They're, they're with the... Uh, <laughs> your guys, your boys, whipping them. But you at least have three confirmed librarians dead. So, and there you had six, so there's at least three in that facility. And they are uh, of high value enough and renown to warrant this this level of uh, resource dedication. Your watch commander tells you, Yo Mug. Well, yeah. They by okay. themselves were able to take out a freaking greater demon. Yep. Hey, Yo Mug. <laughs> Yeah. So, so your clade is out. So my initial thing would be if you have a stealth ship in orbit and there's no other enemy forces in orbit orbit, I would suggest having They're in they're in the system, but they're not in orbit of the planet. Yeah, they're not they're not okay. gonna be immediately able to just detect it on auspexes. I would say a strike on that hive on the other side of the planet. As in an orbital, draw... an orbital strike. Oh, okay. So an orbital bombardment on the Hive City. A localized exterminatus on the Hive's location as soon as possible. That should start drawing off forces because if they launch empty drop pods as well, give the signs of what might be a stealth invasion over there. It's going to draw off a good chunk of forces. If we're sacrificing warhounds, having them approach from the north, horns blaring is also going to draw off some of those defenders. It's a question of how long do we need to get in from where we think we're going to be landing to the site, extract, and get out. Minimize yeah. our losses, our time on the ground. And imperial losses. Yeah. The commander of the stealth vessel in the front uh, told Yelmuk's character it's about eight hours ETA from them to go from where they're at to the planet. So that's long you guys have until all hell breaks loose. You can also call in additional <laughs> vessels if you want Yelmug, but it's going to be kind of a stretch. Yeah, the, the problem is we don't want to put too much onto it. If anything, we just kind of want them to feel like, oh, they missed something. Not, oh, the Imperium's trying to retake the world again, bring all forces back to the planet. Yes, that's why I said we're just a small localized exterminator. Got it. Because then, oh, there's resistance over there that's being reinforced, or they're re relocating. Something, get, they give them something juicy that they think's on the planet, but still weakened.
Yeah. I mean, not much is going to really happen with a single stealth cruiser. No. You make so, a show and be flashy. That's about it. Yeah, they're just going to be able to throw a few drop pods that, you know, and that's about it. As long as I can get at least one Thunderbird down there to pick up the rest of the kill teams when we get out. You have a stealth Thunderbird on the ground already. Cool. cool. Good. Yeah. Because that's our egress. Because that's how they that's how they got out of the world themselves. And the nice so. thing is, is we don't even have to try and make it back to them. We just have to get to the librarians. I can open a gate, and then we can just step right out onto the Thunderhawk. Okay, I was going to say, because... They they confirm mixed armor in the area, including Orbital Winds and AA. That's why they, makes... didn't any, they didn't get any closer than they did. So they 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 themselves landed that Thunderhawk about ten clicks out out of AA range, uh, and so and then they moved up the rest of the way. But yeah, Mike, you can go what a hundred kilometers. Uh, if I push, I can go 120 kilometers. Right. If you don't push? If I don't push, it's 80 kilometers, which is still within 10k. Yep. Yeah. So, like, without pushing, it's 80 kilometers, which is you know, way more than enough um, to go from the center of that facility straight to our Thunderhawk. That's greater than line of sight. I don't need line of sight. No, no, no. I was referring to the for the work with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our missiles would have to arc at that point. Sorry, I'm thinking IRL a little bit now. Yeah, I guess what? After five kilometers, that's when the Earth starts curving? Mm hmm. Fall apart. Yeah. Yep. That's why they stayed that far out. They didn't want to get hit. Well, that's the horizon line anyway, not necessarily. Yeah, when that starts curving. Not start seeing it at about one, to, one and a half to two kilometers. Right. Yeah. Is when you start noticing it. So that's why they're up the plateau. I mean, yeah, so then all we have to do is get in. How long? What's the size of this facility? They said a couple hundred meters across. Walls, skulls. I'm talking about the, uh, the, the whole, um, whole facility because it's like a loose gaggle with some fortification, landing pads, uh, maybe half a kilometer. They, they're estimating at most. Okay, so 500 yes. meters. Yeah, 500 meter facility. Uh, hard fortifications or just soft fortifications? Uh, dropped in fortifications of some kind. They don't. They've they, they've never seen this technology before. They don't know what it is. Okay, but it doesn't look like they built it there. It looks like okay. It looks like they dropped it in from there because there's uh, debris and craters around from the impact. They said. So, uh, so standard away. space marine tactic. Basically, yeah. Uh, fucking, uh, basically it looks like someone dropped a bunch of GS walls. Got it. Yeah. Bunkers, and placements, the like. Yep. Gun turrets, uh, walled spikes. They said there's even a moat of blood around the entire perimeter. Oh, and of course we're not. Uh, of course I'm not using my other character who had the swim skill. So yeah, it's a big ass mode of blood. Because space marines aren't trained to swim. Good luck. Um. Oh, thank God I at least trained myself in swimming with this character. Indirect weapon systems uh, visible inside the facility. You talking about like turrets? No, uh, like indirect fire. So mortars, earth shakers, artillery pieces. The guys didn't note any artillery, at least okay. in the facility. He said there may be outside the perimeter somewhere. They haven't looked. Wouldn't be pre-sighted for inward. It'd be pre-sighted for outward. Uh, how many buildings? Ballpark? Uh, roughly 20. 20, 20 to 50, or 20 to 30. Hmm. But they, they, they can't, some of the buildings, they can't distinguish because it's covered in, like, Gore and skulls and shit. <laughs> so he's giving you his best estimate of structures uh, he could identify. I'm gonna be honest. I could probably, with the information you've you've given me from this, I could probably hand make an actual topographical map of this. Yeah, like that's literally what we do IRL. Like 
with even like we'll ask these type of questions, we'll make a topical practical math plan off off of it, and then just adapt on the fly as we go when it works out. So that's why I'm just no, no worries. All right, 500 meter faci- uh, ish facility, prefab fortifications, 20 to 30 buildings, several turret placements, moat of blood, no visible uh, hard bore sighted in artillery. And various ships going to and fro. So, landing pad or uh, landing, landing pad. field? Landing pad landing. or field? Landing pad. Got it. Definitely looks like it was dropped, and then they just put mounds of skulls around it. Uh, just the one landing pad. Yep. As far as they know, on the what side got, of the what northern. side of the facility? Northern landing pad. Enough for several vessels, uh, multiple vessels. They could probably field an entire uh, air wing here of uh, Thunder Thunderhawks here. So we're talking like a two hundred meter fucking. Thing. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the largest part of the facility is that. I'm just typing and typing and typing. So, yeah, I think it's a good uh, roleplay session for sure. I think you guys got enough information for the mission. Is there anything else you guys want to requisition for the mission? Well, we're definitely going to probably need some anti-armor. Like, uh... I'm going to bring some... something. Yeah, I want some, I think, melta grenades. Okay. Or uh, melted mines that we can strap onto the tank, then set them off. Yeah, actually, that would be... Because yep. I can like, stun the tanks, and the other people can get close and demo yeah. them from them from on site on uh, on point. Yep, you guys have thirty requisition points by the way individually. So anything that's rare, the watch command will just give you. Anything above, just let me know, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we will. You're probably gonna have to repeat that once. Everyone else again there? next week, so we can coordinate what all to actually requisition together. That works. Is there any additional forces you want to requisition, or do you think you have enough of a strike force? I think we have enough of a strike force. I mean, we don't want to go too big anyway. Otherwise, okay. we'll start, you know, losing more than we're actually gaining out of it. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to be, you know, a small str- enough of a force to distract them just long enough for us to get in and get out. Right. I they're think gonna... three warhounds would be enough, especially if we're going to be doing an old bombardment and dropping fake drop pods yeah. uh, on the other side of the planet to help confuse so confusion yep and uh your guys cruiser they're gonna attempt to get the guardsmen off off the planet and do a full retreat and save as many as they can if that's what you want or if you want them to die on the field either way it's fine to them sounds like he's talking about krieg <laughs> what's well, their guardsmen on their stealth, they're both stealth cruisers Ooh. They're willing. They're willing to sacrifice themselves for the mission. Yeah, sounds like Krieg. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm about to say, worst comes to worst. Uh, Krieg guardsmen are born and bred specifically for war. They're literally as clones. Fat yeah. Clones. So all yeah, they want is war. All they care about is war. They don't care about surviving that war. You got it. That's why they're one of the for enemies. That's why some of them are like the worst people to fight because they just don't give a shit. Yeah, they've literally retreated once in in the records that I know of. Well, you know what? You guys don't have clone troopers of the Republic, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. Uh, they're just no. very... They're loyalists. Yeah. No, I mean, anything more than this would be breaching on small-scale planetary invasion, but this is... We're doing a diversionary action with everything. Yeah, if we have the Guard do their thing... Like Heracles was saying, it should be more than enough to start drawing some presence away from the facility, which allows us to get in. It's going to be a fun search through. 
I've got a heart. I'm bringing specifically a hardened Vox unit. Well, not a hardened. You know what I mean? It's I'm bringing an actual, an actual Vox, Vox can, Yeah. Yes, which can communicate across the whole planet. It's the big boy. Nice. Well, yeah. It's so for the guardsmen, it'd be a big backpack. For us, we can just mount it on us somewhere. Someone will carry it. It'll allow you to communicate with ships, no problem. Uh, yep. The CGM will allow us to actually. So I was going to say we should bring enough for our kill team if we split that up and put at least one in like each of the three kill teams. Or sorry, two in each of the kill teams. We can combine our. Especially if their stealth guy can snipe. Or at least if they can provide support, we can use that to affect. Yeah, they don't. None of, yeah, none of them. Have dedicated sniper rifles. They say there's the yeah. That, that's where I've been asking all year about like actual scouts and stuff. I was like, I'm kind of a standard crazy. assault team. They all have bolters. Okay, yeah. yeah. They're just yeah. They're just kill teams. They're just doing a scouting mission. Yeah. Well, I've got a siege aspect, so we can make breaching the buildings easier because we can just find the stuff. Uh, illuminator flares are perfect for this. We can actually because you can put them on strobe, infrared. Uh, any Cornet Berserkers, anyone with the power armor will be able to see it, but still useful. We can use it to mark targets. Combine that with the Sigium for the other kill teams. said so you want to bring uh, melt or what, melt mines? Yeah. Just to take care of any uh, armor on our way into it. Don't we have a Devastator? We can have him bring a launcher. Yeah, we can, but mines are easier to set up and you don't mess with them. I and meant for the Berserkers. Oh. Um, you going to blow up the Berserkers and Rock Launchers? <laughs> that yeah. works. I, I feel <laughs> he just needs like some cracking rounds and he'll be able to take care of the Berserkers just fine. That, uh, right. that's, that's what I'm saying, because with the missile launcher, you can bring missiles, which are good for everything. Yeah, let's see. I want to see how hard these berserkers hit, so you guys, because you guys, your, your team in, uh, informing you would know what these guys are capable of. And so I'll give you that. Or, because actually, roll me a one d one hundred, Eric, ladies. Oh, let's do it that way. Let's let's let the dice gods decide if you can see what they can hit like. They you will definitely see what they can hit like. Did he just okay very well? He got a ten. All right. Uh, yeah, if a... I'm really like uh, for a normal stat line, then uh, I rolled fucking amazing. It looks amazing. Oh, that's the sorry damage I meant to do. <laughs> so they can hit about that hard with their with their chain swords. They may only be able to hit that hard, but we don't have a confirmed number of them. We're inside the facility, and we're going to be possibly having to move at least three I... librarians that are not self-mobile. Hold up, is that weapon complete? No, 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 again, we'll be gating out of the facility, so we just got to get to those Marines. Okay. And we can gate out. Oh, sorry, that has a pin of 15, not zero. I did not... Oh, even better. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Derp. Yeah, so some plasma missiles. Perfect. Right, so... That's how they actually hit. I forgot because I was like, "Wait a minute, their weapon hits harder." So, yep, pin fifteen. I was like, "Pin zero, That doesn't sound right. There, there you go. Ooh. Did you want? Did you want to know about the other types they saw? They had there's a devastator, and they said there's some guys with fuck off axes. What? As, as big Why axes. the hell do they have devastators? They're corn. They they don't know either. They got them. Like the world bears. They said there's at least there's at least two. So one D one D one hundred if you want to know what the axe guy is. And then the, the uh devastator I'll, I'll let that be magical. You don't know. Okay, one well, let's do let's do with the devastator. Let's see let's, curious if you can get that one. Nope. nope. Fuck all if you know what they can do. So you guys get surprised. 
Cool. Well, I mean, we knew not to get made of corn freaking berserkers anyway, so that was <laughs> right. not really a surprise. Hey, yeah, they have failing at four, so I have to read that. But if you lose your natural toughness or unnatural toughness, whatever, some bullshit. I'm like, okay, that sounds horrible. Oh, and we lose our unnatural toughness against those attacks. Wonderful. Yeah, four. It's, yeah, it's four, I believe. I'm updating the enemy presence. Per level. Yeah, that's. It looks like it's. Per permanent too, for the mission. So I don't know. I'll read more up on felling. Like if it's just per session, I'm that's pretty fine. sure that's like per attack. Yeah. Oh, per attack, that would suck. No, I mean oh, yeah. it's like for this for this attack while they're attacking. Oh, okay. it, you, they, yeah, so they attack. It counts as if you don't have the unnatural toughness. Oh, okay. Yeah, if someone else does it. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So if like some Joe Schmo Chaos Guardsman starts shooting at me, it's not like that's, I'm. I, I read on the felling because I was okay. curious earlier. Yeah, that's probably yeah, where it's pen for yeah, from. Then that's exactly where it's coming from. It just okay. because they're on the same footing as us. That's Got what it. it is. All right. Yeah. So pin fifteen. Okay, cool. So you don't have to worry about anything else. Then don't worry about what I said, yo mug. <laughs> All right. So enemy presence: two to three Chaos Infantry Brigades, which. That's a lot. An infantry, at least one, or sorry, one infantry, one chaos armor regiment, which that's not terrible, but I really don't want to get into a pissing contest with that. Three uh, Warhound Titans, 20 plus uh, World Eater Berserkers, two plus of Unknown Chapter Devastators, possible chaos champion with it. I'm presuming what they were describing was an executor's chain axe, but. So I just put that. Uh, ten daemons plus. That's. You talking about yeah. the, the, no? There's a chainsword. The guy, like, big big f off chainsword. They sell oh, axes, okay. but you guys don't know what they are. Oh, the way you were describing, I thought you said he had a chain axe. So like, that's the other one that he was rolling for. He didn't succeed. He got fifty six and seventy four. So you don't so know. They the, didn't see the regular guy, the regular berserkers have uh, their chain swords, but there is yes a possible chaos champion with a chain axe of some kind. Yes, that's what I was putting. Yep. yep. Yeah, multiple yep, of those yep. guys too. Oh, multiple. Uh, multiple. Guys. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna put unknown number. Unknown number. More than more than more than five. He saw. More than five. That's what I need. More than five. Yeah. I just need a, I just plus. need soft numbers. This five this plus. is all soft numbers. It's it's not to give an accurate idea. It's like this is what you should plan for minimum. In which case, if that's the case, I would say we should definitely bring a missile launcher. At least one, if not two. I mean, I still agree with the missile launcher. I would say plasma and or uh, whatever armor piercing we have for missiles. Maybe... No, EMP grenades would be too rare. Yeah, back requisition. You just use that. Yeah... I'm thinking because an EMP grenade would fuck with uh, power armor and uh, so about should. ten, ten, so ten requisition points for ten of them. My ability that stuns tanks also mm -hmm. stuns equipment. I'm also thinking for everyone though, because this way it's not just reliant on you. Right, 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 right. But if we go into a thing, I can either stun like a single vehicle for like my power ratings for eight rounds, or I can stun eight individuals for one round. So like their equipment stops working for eight for one round. But I can rig an EMP grenade with the pin pulled and wedge oh, yeah, it yeah. door. So as soon as someone else comes in the door behind us, EMP. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But I'm saying we don't have to rely on rare equipment. Yeah. Okay. Maybe so we'll save that for. I can do this like every round, kind of thing. Very well. Uh, how do you feel about plasma missiles? I mean, whatever, whatever does the trick. Uh, yeah, uh, fifteen requisition for that. Here. And get get a case of that. We'll do what a case of uh, plasmas and then a place of something else. You think, uh, Eric ladies, and we'll just split it up between the two missile teams. Have everyone on the kill team carry a couple of each rocket for whoever the rocketeers are. Tess, I have no clue what your character is, by the way. Who me? Yep. Uh, character? I'm basically yeah, a scout sniper oh. guy. Oh, that's right. Oh. 
Perfect. For some reason, I was taking uh, assault for whatever reason. I was saying the same thing. I I even asked. Enough salt. Yes. Said you want to bring plasma mines. That should be more than enough for heavy armor. Yep. Are are they loading out special weapon or ammo? Oh, I think crack missiles would be better than plasma missiles. Okay. Unless the plasma missiles do something extra. Uh, they're basically a plasma grenade. So they would melt armor then. Yeah. So even if you don't deal damage, damage, you know, it's, a, it's basically a melta. You melt it's a melta armor. missile. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, they don't have melta missiles. They have plasma missiles. So that would work. That, that's I'm why I'm saying that because the that. crack missile stat line does more damage. Yep. But doesn't degrade armor. Missile. Yeah, it doesn't do. It doesn't have armor degradation though. Well, whatever it depends on whatever volatile means. Uh, go to page uh, one fifty two. Uh, it can explode when you shoot it. Go to page yep. one fifty two, and you'll see it. Uh, which missile launcher were you bringing? Armor Bane or the other one? I think that'll be a choice of whoever uh, is going to be using it. Because I certainly won't be able to, because my ballistic skill is garbage. Ah, uh, you want you want to compare? <laughs> I mean, we, we can. <laughs> I know. Uh, Say, so if you go look on Rights of Battle one thirty eight, I think that's the launcher we need to we need to bring. Yeah, my score is only at thirty nine. Ah, I have you beat. <laughs> My weapon skill is a healthy 57. But then I rarely get in the melee. You win melee is probably a bad idea. I'm actually pretty great in melee because I have this. Because I use a force staff, so I get the force bonus of extra dice whenever I uh, hit somebody with it and succeed on a force check or a willpower oh. check against theirs. So Tesseract, what is your character doing through all this planning? Um, good question. Just kind of been hanging out, not doing much of anything. You're just hanging with the other, yeah, the other kill team. Yeah, like pretty much. Team, prepping for the mission. Yep. You guys doing you doing a ritual then, of some sort? Uh, sure. What weapons you bring to bear? Uh, let me double check one second. If I remember correctly, now, now I remember his character, his alt character. It's he's a stealth boy with a sniper. Yeah, it's sneaks correct. up, sneaks up, blast things. Uh, let's take a so, look. Karen, you would have someone under your command that has sniper capabilities now. So you can direct him where you need him. Valor, right? I feel like we might need penetrating rounds. Uh, so I've got, uh, I actually have a stalker pattern bolt gun, so I'll be bringing that with me. That's my main armament, and... Yeah, and you won't have a chance to upgrade it. Right. Unfortunately, because you just got assigned to this team. Right. 
That's... You're tra you're training, I think, with Karnoth's character, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Taking a you look. Guys get, you guys got experience points for that, if I recall. So what kind of rounds do I want to bring with me? I was recommending Penetrator. Penetrator rounds? Uh, yeah. But I'm, I'm looking know. at it right now. Look on page. Uh, what page was I just on? One forty-one on rights of battle. Uh, let's see. Rights of battle. One four one. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is weapons. Do you see a, a Crozuius in the top left pick, uh, corner of it? Which one? The thing the um, chaplain, not chaplain's carry. Yeah, chaplain's carry. For me, it's page 141 on Rights of Battle. Uh, what's it called? Trying around. The special issue ammunition, right on the thing. Oh, um. Maybe scroll up or down a page. Not seeing it or, in here. Or one, one, four, um, one. Vengeance rounds, which has spelling one. Let's see. Well, what's their penetration? Nine. Hmm. And increases the damage, or increases the pen of a standard bolter to nine instead of six. Do you want more intel on those the, those Marines armor, the Chaos Space Marines armor? You can roll for it, Moth. Or, yeah, Mug. Uh, sure. 1D100. Uh, at least on the first one, the Chainsword guy, you get, you get some intel on him. Are you still not seeing it on the, on the thing? So, uh, that's, like... At this point, let's see. No, I'm yeah. not. I'm not seeing it. You said it's you, rights like, of battle, right? Yes, rights of battle. Right. For me, it's page one four one, right above table three, tack two, ranged weapons. They're all the same. Oh, so. I see it. I see it. Um, that's all the ammunitions. Well, those ammunitions specifically. These are different guns, not different ammunitions. The, the special issue ammunition. There you go. Yeah, mug. Oh. So they have eight, eight, uh, eight oh, armor. Oh, oh, so it's oh like, there they are. Their own natural toughness is 16, 18 across the body in arms. Yeah, or like a shredder, because, you know. That's well, a if you get tiny ass round, table. You basically ignore strength. their armor, and you ignore their toughness. So you'd just be doing straight damage to each of so yeah, because uh, yeah, the bottom number on their head is 16, and the bottom number on everything else is 18. That makes sense. Which I think most, yeah, <laughs> you'd be you'd be ignoring a bunch, bro. Mm. All right. Yeah, so I would recommend vision trials. All right, I will requisition those, then I suppose. <laughs> be fair. Mm. They gave your uh, scout team congrats on all the information and intel they got you. It's a very good scout team. Well, they rolled really well initially, too. So that's how I was able to get this intel. And then I'm having to do the... Least I recommend we bring at least a couple magazines of breaching rounds, though. For reasons. I mean, uh, who just takes a bulkhead shears? Uh, that's a giant thing. It needs to be, unless I'm re I read it wrong, it's supposed to be mounted to, like, it's a two-handed thing you gotta, like, actually cut with. Just, uh, or you gotta mount it on a Tech Marine's backpack. Hmm. You had I a Tech Marine. 
don't even need Terminator armor to use it. Yeah, we did have a tech marine. I wonder what happened to him. Uh, he's... Yeah, who knows. Don't we have a um, big boy now? Not yet, but he's oh, he's, okay. in, he's getting developed. There's yeah, there's we're, we're not gonna have him this mission. Okay. Yeah. I'll 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 let Tesseract know when he's available. It has to be a surprise. <laughs> Because it takes a long time to make a Dreadnought to begin with. But he's getting made, so he's going to have a Dreadnought character. Maybe next session? Maybe five sessions? Maybe six sessions? Who knows? Find out, won't we, Tess? I'm going to guess it depends on the GM rolls. I'm... I'm not really GM rolling. I'm... Yeah, I should GM roll sometimes. I guess I can do that, too. I'm using when it would be the best theatrical entrance for your character. Oh, like God. Like WWE. And his name is John Cena. Because yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm picturing. And it's yeah. just a off the top rope. With, with the Dreadnought, yep. Have you seen Red Dread, the video, the fan animation? Uh-uh. Oh boy. I'm pulling it up again. It is an amazing animation. Thank you for not pausing, YouTube. Please fuck yourself. Oh, no, not that one. God damn it. Uh, there's an amazing one where it actually, like, drops in. And is this fan-made? Yeah. Sorry. This is the one that I'm referring to. Not that one. Like, 20 seconds in, you see it happen, and it is just the most beautiful thing ever. Nifty. Terminator the intro. <laughs> the dropship and the flashlight. What kind of uh, guards what kind of guardsmen are these? These look interesting. Those are chaos. Chaos guardsmen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well it was originally designed from I don't know, like twenty ten from like the sort uh source filmmaker videos that people were making on like Gary's mod and then it became the unofficial official uh like guardsman modify was that type of like face mask because most almost all the books I've read uh the chaos like guardsmen and cultists have their faces covered so that kind of became like the go-to but it's uh it's just basic 
macro binocular and vision face thing. It's all just flat armor. It's funny, there's like only one other movie that I, or series I know that has like uh, Dreadnought characters, and that's uh, Robocop 2. It's a brain in a mech suit. <laughs> I was like, hey, that's a Dreadnought. Mm -hmm. The has 80s anyone, must... uh, has anyone played the new Robocop Rogue City uh -uh. game? I'm broke. Yeah. Getting a new house is expensive. Yes, it is. But yeah, 80s sure do love them brain and them robots. Yeah, they do. The new RoboCop game is amazing, by the way. I already beat it. Sweet. Um, I think we can end the session here, because there's not much else we can do, roleplay-wise. Yeah. Uh, Fucking nobody think... showed up today. And Rafi, for... so we knew it wasn't a, uh, a time issue. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know what happened. We'll figure out what's next next session. All but right. usually, usually, this how sessions die or game sessions, campaigns die. People stop showing up. <laughs> Maybe if we bribe people with candy, they'd show up more often. We know they... one person wasn't going to make it, but then. Right. That's a, it's like a spiral effect when that happens. Doom spiral. It's a doom spiral. Looking but we got Karen fortress. up to... Yeah, I got Karen. Uh, he got leveled up, and he got up to date. Sweet. I typed yeah. a brief. Yeah, we have a, yeah, I have a full mission briefing. Because the mission briefing for this mission wasn't created. It was just like, here's the situation. And it's all Yelmuk's character knew. So... Yeah. Mission briefing, I was going to leave up to you guys to formulate... I mean, I guess mission plan is is a completely different thing, but huh? Mission plan is uh, the next thing. Yep. Yeah, because so how uh, much P do we get for the role play? Eighty-seven. Give... No, I'll give you guys about a thousand. All right. For you three, the other ones that didn't show up don't get it. But. Shit, I might just be able to make it to rank 7 now. That's hilarious. Holy shit. Well, you can't do it until after mission 4 is completely over with. So that's this side quest plus okay. the mission right. selection. No, I'll hold on to the XP until then. then. Yeah. That's All when right. you guys... Because otherwise, if I had you guys perpetually leveling up as you're going through, it'd be, like, hard to balance. Harder to balance. Because I balance everything around what your rank is. And and like, we're already almost max level. That's fine. We've been playing for how long? Almost a year? That's fine. I think yeah. that's perfect progression. Yeah, it's been a year now. We started back in January of uh, this yep. year. I mean, when we, when we last, when we just did our level thing, we went from uh, rank four to rank six. Or to the that's tail end of rank six. That's fine. You guys did a lot. That session was, that, that, that mission was very long. I still want to know how this campaign is going to end. Like, well, it's Death Watch is innately a never-ending thing. It's just combat missions, right? So it ends when our team dies, right? You yeah. guys can end it there. It's so uh, it's your choice how you want, when you want to end and stop playing. <laughs> like uh, Chris's character VVX, his character is off a skiing trip and over. Uh, he oh. Missed out on losing all those Space Brothers who died in the beginning. We started off with 12 people, and then what was it? Six people died on impact? Yep. Yep. And the rest of us had our helmets <laughs> fucked up for the rest of the mission, which is funny. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was really bad rolls for you guys. It was like 99, and then like uh, 90, and then some like other number. So you guys are like, you guys are getting the worst of the drop pod. Yeah. If you guys got straight hundreds, it's like, well, you all die. Congrats. <laughs> Which is a possibility, by the way. Drop pods fall, everyone dies. Reroll your new character. Nah, I, I would literally... I would... 
I would literally show you the rolls. Like, look, guys, you guys got really unlucky. Straight 100s on your drop pod insertion. You guys are going to have to make new characters. They're all dead. And that's how I would tell <laughs> you, too. That's how I'd break it to you. Damn. It's like, you guys are just, your calculation was off just a hair. And instead of drop potting through the atmosphere, you burned up in the atmosphere. Damn. No survivors. Damn. Yeah. But that's the, has, that rolls have not happened yet. So the worst of it was the first mission. So that's a, that's what a 99 plus nine, 290s look like. Jesus. Not terrible considering. Uh, the well, the roles. character's dying. I just I just added that because they dropped out of the game first started. So right. But it worked in our favor. Well, you guys were way off from from uh, drop point insertion from the the start of the mission. You guys are start supposed to start maybe a kilometer away. <laughs> you guys were a good 20, 30 kilometers away. You guys had to fight through Tyranids to get to your start point. Yeah. It's true. I thought that tunnel would be more deadly to you guys than it was, but you guys were like, that was almost a cakewalk with that damn Devastator, dude. Yeah. I think this the last mission though seems to be seem to be pushing your characters a bit. Oh yeah, for sure. Right, because I was like, man, is it is it these? Because I was thinking, is it my characters that suck, or what's going on here? And then one of y'all got hit. Uh, he almost died, and another one got hit. He almost died. Like, okay, well they were perfectly balanced. Okay, they just weren't landing hits. Okay, I guess that's good. Right. <laughs> so perfectly balanced. Well, I'm glad. So I hope these guys are perfectly balanced too. Because if they're armored to the gills like the last scout group and hard hitting, that'd be boring. Yellmug is like, what are you doing, man? You're just trying to kill us at this point. <laughs> A little. Yep. But no, now they just well, hit. Okay, you've been trying to kill us through the entire campaign. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but being neutral about it. Like, it's not like I can yeah, make. Yeah. I can make characters that can one-shot you and be impervious to everything you do. That's boring. I want to I want to make it like, hey, if this guy hits you, he's going to fucking hurt. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Or, hey, if you hit this guy, it's going to tickle him. That was the last mission you guys did. It's the tickler mission. Damn. Well, shit. Uh... That was interesting. Hopefully more people show up next time. Oh, yeah. Yes. We'll reach out to them a couple days prior. I just had a busy week, so it's my yeah. fault not reaching out. No, that's so. cool, man. And here I have the next two weeks off. Sweet. All right. I will catch you guys later then. Take, Take it easy. It easy. Mm -hmm. He's lying. He's not coming back. Ah!